five minutes, seven minutes from here, which was a former factory making pots, pans, and things like that. He acquired scaring the Jewish owners, you know, persuading the Jewish owners. SS knocking at your doors in the middle of the night can be very persuasive. So they just gave Schindler the factory. And Schindler after that said, congratulations, gentlemen. You made a good decision. Now you are my managers. So the former owner of the factory became managers for Schindler. And, you know, this was the first Jews we have in the room. Maybe you remember it's Hakstad in the room. The guy who was knighted in the list, which is not true, by the way. Uh, so uh, this, let's say lawyers, owners are the first people working for Shinga. But in 1931, all the people gathered here in the ghetto, all the workers here, they are just like business opportunity for him. Thousands of people who will work for him as long as he wants without any money. And by the way, in 1941, teachers were working for him who were already not making pots and pans, but part of munitions, messages for the soldiers and other things. So when you see this pots and pans till the end of the war, that's not true. The pots and pans will save people. In 1943, Oskar Schindler is making the hell. In 1943, he's remembered as a very good person who is giving his people enough food, never allowed to eat them. But he's not saving anyone. Suddenly, he starts to save his people, starting from closest to him. Coincidence, but this was exactly when Nazis started to leave the war. Nazis started with the wars in 1943. The Battle of Stalingrad, uh, when you would have six Nazi army completely annihilated at the gate of the Soviet city. And uh, then the Schindler knows, and his Jews know that the Nazis are losing the war. But his Jews know also that they will be killed before the war will finish. So there was kind of a deal. You will save us now, we will save you later. Schindler actually started to get his people, he ordered to get his people out of the ghetto, he organized a living quarters around the camp, uh, around the factory, so this was a better place to live. And if you work for Schindler factory, you have medicines, you have white sheet on the bed, you have enough food. And many people try to get them, and many people try to get themselves on the course of the others, or on the edge of the others, or bribing somebody. In 1943, um, that was the period. And Shingo Factory, you have around 1,500 people there, around 1,050 people there, and you have the question of concentration. And one place is the place of death, and one place is the place of hope. And if you see the Shingo's List movie, you may think that somebody who was deciding who would be on the list was Shingo. Or it's Hatch Stern, The guy deciding who would be on the list was one of the most hated Nazi policemen. Jewish policemen in the ghetto. Marcel Goldberg, who can cross you out from the list to extermination, who can get you out from Washington and send you to Schindler's factory. But the names, the numbers, have to be okay. So when somebody's saved, somebody will be good. Somebody will be moved to Washington's situation. And this detail is not in the movie. But in many cases, it was tough decisions and lots of money paid. And I will not judge these people because I would do anything to save my family. But I would like to point it out, it's not like in the movie. In the movie it's underestimated, in the movie it's actually understated, and Schindler is there. None of these people were here when the list was written. It's true that they were saved by their families of the Jewish policemen on the list. And there are many people which were left in Krakow, which were working for Schindler for three years. But they were too poor to pay for the Krakow. It's not fitting for the movie, right? Also remember that the movie is the story of survivors, the one which went with Schindler, the one which are left here. Make another movie. A little different and maybe more bitter one. It's true that this thousand people were saved. It's true that Schindler at the end of the war escaped. And many years later he lived in Argentina. He was broke because most of his businesses after the war failed. Uh, he actually had a wife which loved him and he left her for another lady which left him. And in the 1960s Schindler is out of money, out of luck, but not out of friends. You have more than a thousand people that are caring for him. Thousands of people which uh, believe that he saved them and they own him his life. And at the end, I think, Schindler understood what he done with your own Your life is worth something when you're saving somebody. At the end of his life, he looked back and he saw lots of broken bottles, lots of ladies that he left, and thousands of people that he saved. And I think to understand him, it took him many, many years after the war. During the war, he was saving people because they will save him later. Business, you know. And at the end, he understood that this was the most important. I think it's simply not like in the movie, which doesn't cast any shade on the ship. I'm not trying to put him in bad light. 
I'm just saying that I like this Playboy Drantia Gambler and Spy, which was real and more complicated than the Schindler from the movie. Much more than the perfect role, which is simplified kind of for Hollywood. And when you see Schindler's List, remember that today you heard about three people: um, Madrid Schindler to Germans and Karst to Polish, which were saving others. Six thousand seven hundred saving others in Poland. Thousands in Germany, Russia, Ukraine, Lithuania, Portugal, and Japan. There was a guy saving Jews from Japan, so a very famous story. Uh, to give them justice, you need a long, long, long series. So Schindler is a symbol. Remember about others, and there would be thousands of people's names that were not recognized, uh, and they were saving others, but their names got lost in the Let's not even ask questions. No radical change. A few things at the end, for example, how to come back, and it will be easier if I will do it close to the back.